Scientists have discovered a super-Earth, named TOI 715b, located within the conservative habitable zone of a nearby red dwarf star. This revelation has ignited the astronomical community with the potential of uncovering conditions that are suitable for life a mere 137 light-years from Earth. The research, led by Georgina Dransfield at the University of Birmingham, represents a significant step forward in our quest to understand the conditions under which life might arise. Conservative Habitable Zone the planet, named TOI 715b, measures approximately one and a half times the width of Earth. It is positioned within what scientists describe as the conservative habitable zone of its parent star. This zone is defined by its capacity to maintain temperatures that could allow liquid water to exist on a planet's surface, a crucial requirement for habitability. However, the presence of liquid water would also depend on several other factors, including the right atmospheric conditions. The conservative habitable zone represents a more narrowly defined area compared to the broader optimistic habitable zone, offering a more stringent benchmark for potential habitability. Potential sibling planet. Adding to the intrigue, the same planetary system might also host a second planet, one that is Earth-sized and could similarly reside within or near this conservative habitable zone. The existence of two such planets in the same system, both potentially capable of holding liquid water, significantly enhances the prospects of finding signs of life or habitable conditions beyond our solar system. Advanced Spaceborne Instruments The discovery of TOI 715b and its potential sibling planet comes at an ideal time in the field of exoplanetary science. Advanced spaceborne instruments, notably including NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, have transformed our ability to not only detect but also characterize distant planets. These instruments are now poised to probe the atmospheres of exoplanets, seeking evidence of their composition and, by extension, hints of biological activity. Short Orbital Period of TOI 715b Red dwarf stars, such as the one hosting TOI 715b, have emerged as prime targets in the search for habitable worlds. Their smaller, cooler nature means that planets can orbit closer to them while still remaining in the habitable zone. This proximity allows such planets to transit their stars more frequently, making them easier to detect and observe with telescopes like TESS, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, which discovered TOI 715b. The planet's relatively short orbital period of 19 days facilitates repeated observations, enhancing our ability to study its characteristics in detail. Prospects for Habitability The potential for TOI 715b to be scrutinized by the James Webb Space Telescope is particularly exciting. If the planet possesses an atmosphere, and especially if it could be classified as a water world, its prospects for habitability could be significantly higher. Such a planet would likely have a more detectable atmosphere than that of a larger, drier, and denser planet, where the atmosphere might cling too closely to the surface to be easily observed from afar. TESS Mission This discovery not only adds TOI 715b to the growing list of exoplanets located within habitable zones but also sets a new record for TESS by identifying the smallest such planet discovered by the mission to date. This achievement surpasses early expectations for TESS, highlighting the mission's vital role in expanding our knowledge of potentially habitable worlds beyond our own solar system. TOI 715b and Habitable Zones As discussed above, the habitable zone, often referred to as the Goldilocks zone, plays a crucial role in the search for life beyond Earth. This term describes the region around a star where conditions might be just right, neither too hot nor too cold, for liquid water to exist on a planet's surface, which is considered essential for life as we know it. Understanding the habitable zone is vital for astronomers and astrobiologists who aim to identify potentially life-bearing planets within our galaxy. Understanding the Goldilocks Principle The concept of the habitable zone hinges on the balance of several factors, including the distance of a planet from its star, the star's size and temperature, and the planet's atmospheric conditions. Planets that orbit too close to their star may experience scorching temperatures that can evaporate water, making them inhospitable for life. Conversely, planets that orbit too far from their star may be too cold, causing water to freeze and diminishing the prospects for life. Role of the star in habitable zones. Stars of different sizes and temperatures have habitable zones at varying distances. For instance, smaller, cooler red dwarf stars have their habitable zones much closer to the star compared to the larger, hotter stars like our Sun. This variance significantly affects the search for habitable planets. Planets within the habitable zone of red dwarfs, for example, might be tidally locked, 
presenting unique challenges for habitability, such as having one side perpetually facing the star and the other in eternal darkness. Searching for exoplanets like TOI 715b. The discovery of exoplanets within habitable zones has surged with advances in telescope technology and space missions. Projects like NASA's Kepler mission and the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS, mentioned previously, have identified thousands of exoplanets, with many located in their star's habitable zone. These discoveries fuel optimism about finding Earth-like planets, or super-Earth planets like TOI 715b, that could potentially harbor life. Beyond liquid water. However, being in the habitable zone does not guarantee a planet is habitable. A planet's atmosphere plays a crucial role in maintaining the right conditions for liquid water. Planets with thick atmospheres might trap too much heat, while those with thin or no atmospheres might not be able to retain enough heat. Thus, scientists also focus on atmospheric composition and other factors that contribute to a planet's ability to support life. The study of habitable zones is expanding beyond the search for liquid water to include the consideration of other solvents that might support life, such as methane or ammonia. This broader perspective opens up new possibilities in the quest to understand life's potential diversity in the universe. Expanding the search for extraterrestrial life. In summary, the habitable zone represents a foundational concept in the quest for extraterrestrial life. By identifying planets within these zones, scientists are taking significant steps toward answering the age-old question of whether we are alone in the universe. As our technology and understanding of planetary systems evolve, the search for life in the habitable zones of distant stars promises to remain at the forefront of astronomical research. In the vast expanse of the universe, humanity's quest to understand the cosmos and unravel its mysteries has taken an extraordinary leap forward with the recent discovery of a super-Earth orbiting within the optimal habitable zone of its star. This monumental finding has ignited the imagination of scientists and laypeople alike, offering tantalizing prospects for the existence of extraterrestrial life and reshaping our understanding of habitable worlds beyond our solar system. A super-Earth, as the name suggests, is a planet larger and more massive than Earth yet smaller than gas giants like Jupiter or Saturn. The optimal habitable zone, on the other hand, refers to the region around a star where conditions are just right for liquid water to exist on a planet's surface, an essential ingredient for life as we know it. The convergence of these two factors presents a compelling scenario for the potential habitability of the newly discovered exoplanet. The significance of this discovery cannot be overstated. For centuries, astronomers have peered through telescopes, searching the cosmos for signs of other habitable worlds. Each new exoplanet brings us closer to answering one of humanity's most profound questions, are we alone in the universe? The discovery of a super-Earth within the optimal habitable zone represents a milestone in this ongoing quest, offering a promising target for future exploration and scientific inquiry. To pinpoint the location of the super-Earth within its star's habitable zone, Astronomers employed sophisticated observational techniques, including the transit method, a process that involves measuring the slight dimming of a star's light as a planet passes in front of it. Through meticulous analysis of these observations, researchers were able to determine not only the existence of the exoplanet but also its size, mass, and orbital characteristics. But what might life be like on this distant world? While speculation abounds, our understanding of exoplanetary environments is still in its infancy. The discovery of a super-Earth within the optimal habitable zone opens up a realm of possibilities, from rocky landscapes dotted with vast oceans to atmospheres teeming with potential biosignatures. Could this distant world harbor microbial life, thriving in the depths of its oceans or beneath the surface of its rocky terrain? Or perhaps, in the distant future, could human explorers set foot on its surface, venturing into the unknown in search of answers to age-old questions? As we continue to explore the cosmos, each new discovery expands our horizons and challenges our preconceptions about the universe. The discovery of a super-Earth in the optimal habitable zone serves as a reminder of the boundless potential of space exploration and the profound impact it has on our understanding of our place in the universe. Whether this distant world is home to alien life or remains a barren wasteland, its discovery represents a triumph of human curiosity and ingenuity, a testament to our relentless pursuit of knowledge and our insatiable desire to explore the unknown. In conclusion, the discovery of a super-Earth within the optimal habitable zone of its star is a watershed moment in the search for extraterrestrial life and the exploration of distant worlds. As we gaze out into the cosmos, let us marvel at the wonders that await us and redouble our efforts to unlock the secrets of the universe. For in the endless expanse of space, there are still countless mysteries waiting to be discovered, 
and with each new revelation, we come one step closer to unraveling the greatest mystery of all, our place in the cosmos.